Imagine you have a form and you have some of the input fields that are required. For example, you probably need the item name, maybe the count, the zip code where to deliver it. Other fields are optional. They don't have the required attribute. Can you confirm that all the inputs that you really need to have or must have do have a HTML attribute required present? Let's see if we can test this. I'm going to move Cypress to the left. This is the form on the right in my editor. This is the required attribute. Item, count, not on the coupon, but the zip code. So we can select all the input fields with the attribute required by using the attribute selector syntax. Because there is no value, we don't have to say equals something. No, we're just looking for the attribute presence. Um, there are three items right here. We can confirm, for example, of, uh, let's say names for required attributes. So we can say should we get a list. And here we can, from that list, which is a jQuery object, get the attribute. So we can say, let's say names. We'll say list. And I love dealing with arrays, not with jQuery objects, to be honest. So immediately I can convert to an array, map um, an element to element get attribute name. And because I don't care about the order on the page, you know, sometimes the input elements can go higher or lower. I'm going to sort it so that the list of names is stable. It doesn't matter what position on the page it is. And so we can say expect names and let's say required to equal because it's an array. So what do we have? We have zip code. Notice it's capital letter. So it goes first, then count and item. Zip code, count, item. Perfect. So this is a single shoot callback. It's pretty powerful. It will retry getting the elements if the elements are added, for example, or changed. If you use my Cypress map plugin, you can rewrite this slightly simpler. Notice in this case, we're getting the jQuery object and then we are invoking method get attribute on each element. So from Cypress map, there's map invoke. So invoke a method on each element. Get attribute is the name of a method and the argument name. And then you use sign invoke to sort it, right? So sort the current subject and this should deep equal this array that we already have right here. And we can remove everything. So this is a query. This is a query. This is a query followed by an assertion. So if a form is dynamic and elements are added um, after delay, no problem. The whole chain will retry. One other thing that I want to confirm in this test is that every label for required input element has to have this uh, wildcard mark. Okay. And the labels for the inputs that don't have that mark should not be required. So how do we check that? Well, look at how we link a label to its input element. There is a special for attribute for a label in HTML standard. It provides the ID of the input element. So we need to confirm a couple of things, right? We need to confirm that every label that has text, if you find the input element of that label, it has a required attribute. So let's do this. Now let me just remove this because we don't need this anymore. So we can find the label, right? Well, this will give you all the labels. It doesn't matter what text we have. You can try using site contains and say, I need a label with this particular text, but better than just a single element, the first one. We need to get multiple elements. And the way to do that is to use uh, so the selector contains and uh, okay, this is a text inside. It has parentheses too. Okay, let's see. So now notice we got the labels that have a special text with wildcard. Then we can use Cypress each and we get a jQuery object for each element. And we can, for example, get uh, ID. So this is jQuery, it has adder, which is similar to get attribute. 
we can get four. And now we can find that element. We can say, give me the input and I'll just use something like this with that ID. And I'll say should have attribute required. Let's see. So we got three elements and then we found the input and check that it has attribute required. Now we want to do the reverse. If you have a required input, its label should have a text that includes the special mark. Okay, so how can we do that? Let's get again all the inputs with required attribute. We get each input, which is jQuery. We can get its attribute ID, which is just a, an attribute, right? And we can say, get me, we can do it a couple of ways, but we can say, for example, contains. And the selector is dynamic, so we can say contains label with an attribute for, and then we can say ID, right? And it has to have text with wildcard. Let's see if this works. Label, oh, because this is an input. Okay, so what do we have here? So we found all the required inputs, and for each one we find the label. So we're finding label for item, label for count, label for the zip code, and each one has the expected text. We can rewrite it slightly differently. Instead of site contains, we can say once you find that label should, I think, have text. Okay, uh, partial should include text. Okay, or I think maybe contain. Okay. So maybe that's uh, better. Uh, this syntax might be preferable because this gives you an idea if it fails, if the element, the label for that element is missing or if it doesn't have expected text. So we separate finding the label for that input by ID from checking its text, okay? So I'm gonna put this full example on my Cypress example site. I will link it from the description of this video.